Let me tell you something. Sometimes God will tell us to do things and you will see no benefit in it at all. Matter of fact, a lot of times God will tell you to do things that you don't see an immediate benefit in. You are so blessed if you choose to obey and you obey cheerfully. All right, you just finished chapter 25. Now let's review it again. To tremble at God's word is what? To obey instantly. To obey when it doesn't make sense. Now here's the big one. We obey God even if we don't see a benefit for obeying him. Something that has just grieved my heart, deeply grieved my heart, is in 40 years of ministry in the Western church, I've noticed that much of the preaching and teaching that we have done has almost communicated to people that you need to have a reason or a benefit for obeying God before you actually do it. I mean, stop and think about it. How many people will rush the auditorium to go to a message on obedience? Not many, because they don't see a benefit for them. Hey, if you look at Queen Esther, Queen Esther was queen to the Persian king. The Persian Empire was the most powerful empire on the planet at the time. She's a Jew, but nobody knows she's a Jew except for her family members. The king doesn't know, and the highest advisor, Haman, to the king doesn't know either. Haman hates the Jews with a passion, and he makes... a a deceptive appeal to the king that the king would have every Jew annihilated on a set date. Well, the king agreed to it. He signed it with a signet ring. Mordecai, who is the cousin of Esther, comes to Esther and says, Esther, you've got to go before the king. She said, hey, even though I'm his wife, if I go into the inner court without being invited, my head will come off Unless I'm invited, he puts the golden scepter towards me. If he doesn't point that scepter to me, my head comes off. And Mordecai says, but Esther, maybe God has brought you into the kingdom for this time to save the people of Israel. And she looked at her cousin and she said, you go and tell the people to fast. I'm going before the king. And if I die, I die. Now, I want you to think about this. She had everything to lose, including her head. She had nothing to gain. She's already queen. She can have whatever she wants. She has absolutely nothing to gain, but yet she still chose to obey God. She is a woman who greatly feared the Lord and trembled at his word. Let me tell you something. Sometimes God will tell us to do things and you will see no benefit in it at all. Matter of fact, a lot of times God will tell you to do things that you don't see an immediate benefit in. You are so blessed if you choose to obey and you obey cheerfully. It's so important. Please remember these words. The person who trembles at God's word, the person who fears God, will obey even if they don't see a personal benefit.